The Avengers are the bad guys in Avengers Doomsday. Okay, hear me out. Yeah, I saw those teasers too. Cap is back at a farmhouse with a baby, Thor is praying to Odin for strength, and we even have the X-Men popping in. It's nice to see that they're not forcing us to pay attention after killing Robert Downey Jr. off. Except he's back too, but he's grumpy and wearing a green hoodie. Everyone's screaming, the internet is melting, and it's a 10 out of 10 on the hype scale. But wait, how did we get here? And more importantly, why is this trailer the most terrifying document in human history? Because if the physics that Marvel has been building up for the last five years are even remotely correct, we aren't looking at a superhero sequel, we're looking at a universal liquidation sale. Okay, look, I get it. You stopped watching Marvel movies after Eternals because Let's face it, Eternals sucked, but you also have a life or you have a degree or even a small little smidge of self-respect. Since Endgame, Marvel has released 400 hours of content. And look, I'm gonna run through the highlights so you're not lost when Doom shows up on screen in December. In WandaVision, Wanda became a magical HOA president because she was sad and it didn't really end well for her neighbors. In Loki, the god of mischief found out that time is a physical place managed by a guy in a mid-century office who really, really likes clocks. Well, they broke the office. Yes, I said they. There's multiple Lokis now. Get along with it. And now time is a tree. Don't, don't ask. Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange is also sad and found out that if you dream, you're just spying on your alternate selves who have a better life than you. Oh, also, if two universes hang out together for too long, some wacky shit happens called an incursion, which is a fancy way of saying that they crash into each other like two drunk semi-trucks on the I-70. Quantumania. Ant-Man found out that there's a civilization in his basement. We always knew Scott Lang was weird, but this took it to another extreme. Well, there was a guy named Kang. He was the big bad of this movie. But then the math changed and well, he's out. Enter Doom. Basically, the Avengers broke the no trespassing rule on all of reality in the entire multiverse. And now the multiverse is like this leaky pipe. And Robert Downey Jr., he's the plumber coming in to change the water. Now that everyone's caught up, let's talk about why you should be scared and why the Avengers are at fault. In the teasers, we hear the word incursion. In the comic books, it's a plot point, but in physics court, that's a thermodynamic death sentence. When two Earths collide, we're not just talking about a big explosion. We're talking about the kinetic energy of a planetary impact. And the kinetic energy would be given by this. The resulting energy is 10 to the 32nd joules. And for those of you keeping up, that's similar to the Death Star's plasma beam. And we determined while it was awesome, the Death Star had no way of handling that amount of energy. So how do you think we're gonna deal with it with two Earths colliding? And for us, not so far, far away, that's enough energy to vaporize all of the oceans in milliseconds. But Doom knows something that the Avengers don't. He knows about entropy. Okay, here's my biggest physics gripe. Entropy is not randomness. It's the expanse of possibilities for a system. Pop Science says that these ice cubes are random because of its shape. But at the molecular level, these ice cubes are prisons. The molecules are locked into a lattice. They have very few microstates, very few ways to live. But the liquid water, on the other hand, those molecules are partying. They have no restrictions on where they can be other than in the glass. They have exponentially more ways to arrange themselves than this glass of water here. The more the possibilities, the higher the entropy. The Avengers are decreasing entropy by messing with these timelines, but they have to pay the bill. They're exporting heat and energy to other timelines so that they can keep their sacred timeline frozen like this ice cube. Every time they save the day, they're pumping heat into a neighbor universe until it bursts. Each of these bursts are incursions. And in all of this, Doom isn't the evil one. He's the one who realized that the fridge is on fire and is going to unplug it before the entire house burns down. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kartik, you're ruining my childhood. How could you? Doom is just a guy in a mask. Can you just accept the fact that he's the bad guy? Well, no. And hey, don't be upset. It's all just a theory, a physics theory. But the math doesn't lie. If Robert Downey Jr. is a Tony Stark variant who turned into Doom, it suggests a conservation of identity. The universe requires a genius level intellect to manage its entropy. If it can't have a hero, it'll settle for a sovereign. The Avengers think they're fighting for freedom, but Doom is fighting for sustainability, which makes his fight much more appealing. It almost feels like the Avengers are children asking for a later bedtime, while Doctor Doom is the one to say no. And in this case, the Avengers are absolutely in the wrong. 
So whose team are you on? Are you team Avengers or team Dr. Doom? Let me know in the comments below.